Michael Slager will spend the rest of his life in prison. One day before his trial was set to begin, Slager agreed to plead guilty to the murder of Judy Malinowski. This means the death penalty is off the table, but Slager will have no chance for parole. In today's court hearing, we learn new details about the crime and heard directly from the murder victim herself. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart is live at the courthouse tonight. Ted? Colleen, Judy Malinowski died as a direct result of the burns that she received in 2015 after she was doused with gasoline and set on fire. And on that day, we now know, Malinowski and Michael Slager had argued about Malinowski going into a drug rehab program for her addiction to heroin. Slager had driven uh, Malinowski to the drug rehab center, but she walked away saying that she was not ready. In her video deposition taken shortly before she died, Judy Malinowski described how, during an argument that day, she threw a cup of pop on Michael Slager, sending Slager into a rage. He ran around with me and started going gasoline, started up my head, and worked his way down. Malinowski described Slager as having an evil look as he then pulled out a lighter and set her on fire. She survived for nearly two years through close to 60 surgeries and extraordinary pain. Her video testimony, seen publicly for the first time today, included a question about punishment for her killer. I want you to tell a future uh, judge what you uh, want to see happen to Mr. Slager. I would like to see him charged with murder and to a life sentence. I think that With Slager's guilty plea, Malinowski gets her wish. Slager avoids the death penalty, but will go to prison for life and no chance for parole. It was the right outcome because it was what Judy wanted. Malinowski's mother, Bonnie Bowes, says Judy was adamant that Slager not get the death penalty, adding that her daughter expressed hope that Slager would be able to turn his life around in prison. Bowes said she did insist that Slager plead guilty, that he not be allowed to plead no contest. At sentencing, Michael Slager did briefly apologize to both his own and the victim's families. It's commendable that he did turn and look at us and say he's sorry. Um, Judy would be, Judy was such a kind hearted, she would be, Mom, that's acceptable, that's what I wanted. And Slager's attorneys did say that uh, their client did, does feel remorse and regret. They said that he decided to plead guilty ultimately because he wanted to try to help the healing process for the Malinowski family and his own family. Local for you and live at the Franklin County Courthouse, Ted Hart, NBC4.